Once upon a time, in a little town nestled between rolling hills and green meadows, a young girl named Claire and her brother Henry were visiting their grandmother for the summer. Grandma's house was a special place, filled with memories and treasures collected over the years, and Claire and Henry's grandmother was actually a famous artist, known around the world for her paintings and sculptures and other works of art, but of all the masterpieces in her house, there was one work of art that stood out among the rest. It was a great big painting that hung in the center of the living room. It was a picture of a bustling market scene from olden times. And this painting was so detailed that at first glance, it looked stunningly realistic with merchants selling their wares on a busy morning children chasing after one another in townsfolk going about their day. Now, when most visitors would come to the house, they would stand and admire the painting the first time they walked into the living room. They might stare at it for a moment and say something nice about the piece and then go about their day. Almost nobody paid much attention to it after their first glance. That is, nobody except Claire. Claire had an eye for detail, just like her grandmother did, and she would look closely at the painting every time she walked in the room. And eventually, she started to notice the strangest thing about the painting. Every time she looked at it, the people and the animals seemed like they were in different positions than they were the day before. At first, Claire noticed it with the fruit seller's cart. One day, the cart had been near the town fountain, but then the next day, it was on the other side of the square. Claire thought maybe she was just misremembering it, so she began to make daily sketches of the painting to be sure of what she thought was happening. And after keeping track of the changing details each day, she found that things in this painting were definitely changing. But there was one thing that didn't seem to change. She noticed what looked like a little girl about her age who always stood at the corner of the road staring right at her. Not in a creepy way or anything. The girl in the painting always had a smile on her face and without fail, she was always there. Even though most of the other townspeople in the painting would be gone on some days, this girl was never gone and she never moved. And after a few more days of making these daily sketches, Claire noticed it looked like that little girl in the painting was waving at her. What? Claire took a step closer. No, was she really seeing this? Claire stood closer to the painting and looked around to make sure no one was watching. And then she reached out to touch the girl's outstretched hand. And suddenly, the world around her blurred and she felt herself being pulled into the painting. And when her vision cleared, Claire found herself inside the painting, right in the middle of the marketplace. The market was buzzing with life all around her. The air was filled with the aroma of fresh bread and spices and the gentle hum of a hundred conversations happening around her. And then she looked up and she saw the girl from the painting. She was standing right there in front of her. And so the girl introduced herself. Hey there, I'm Eliana. I've been waiting for someone from the outside to visit, the girl said with a twinkle in her eye. What is going on, said Claire, where am I? Well, you see, said Eliana, this painting is a magical portal between your world and ours. And Eliana kept explaining, every night when the world outside of this painting goes to sleep, we come alive and go about our lives and shift places. We've all known about your world for years, but we had no way of reaching it until now. Claire was amazed and she spent the entire day with Eliana as the two girls explored the world within the painting, making friends with the villagers and playing together. But as the sun began to set, Eliana warned Claire, it's very important that you return to your world before it wakes up 
or you could be trapped in this painting forever. Well, that didn't sound very good. So Claire said her goodbyes and with Eliana's guidance, she stepped out of the painting and back into her grandmother's living room. And the painting shimmered briefly before it returned to the way it normally looked. Claire couldn't believe what just happened. She rushed to the kitchen table where her grandmother and her brother Henry were already eating breakfast. Oh, there you are, sleepyhead. We wondered if you were going to join us, said her grandmother. Claire blurted out everything she had seen and done in the painting the night before. And Henry just sat there with his eyes wide open and his spoon hanging out of his mouth, not sure what to think. But to Claire's surprise, her grandmother smiled knowingly and said, Oh, how very interesting. I always wondered if the painting would share its secret with someone else. But that's a story for another day. 